Hey everyone, Yeti here, welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I think it's time we play as Judas, I don't remember the last time we played as Judas, but the thing about Judas is, we've not done anything on hard mode, so pretty much like anything would be useful. Y-E-T-N-Y-Q, R-F, Raffi, Raffi, um, is that the same dude, what did Raffi do, I don't remember what Raffi did. Is he the same dude that did Skin him a Rinky Dinky Dink, no that was a different guy, no that was a group. Whose name I don't remember, but that was a group of people. Uh, I am like, one of my favourite things about the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth is when you start a run and then you like go into the, the first room and then it's got an envy fight in it. I actually like really enjoy it when that happens, it's really fun. Okay. Sarcasm aside, Judas is a really refreshing person to run as. Uh, reason being, you know, I don't play as Judas all that often, so when it does come around to actually being Judas, it's nice to be able to just. Pretty much breeze through the the cellar slash basement with like relative ease by way of our damage. It's always nice. It's a nice change from you know, fucking randoming and getting Maggie every time. Uh, I don't have a bomb. That's fine. And then um, Book of Blau is obviously pretty dope as well. My problem with Judas though is just the the whole thing of like you know, I usually die before I get a chance to get a run going just because I'm you know that's not the game's fault. It is pretty much just because I'm bad. Uh, Minecrafter isn't very good. Having said that, what I'm going to do... Shift this over here. Go! Take your fucking time. I swear they... Have these been, like, fucking buffed and made harder to move or something? I swear they aren't usually that hard. Oh, all that for a fucking battery. Right, one of you better have, like, some... Fucking... Like a diamond here or something. Um, you know what, I'll allow it, I'll let it slide, because that's going to go straight into my shop. Which, if I come across this floor, will happen this floor, okay. A tiny rock, that's unfortunate, there's quite a lot of rocks here. Not many bombs anyway, but still. Ooh. Endless Nameless. I'm stuck in a loop. I don't know what that does. I'm not a huge fan of the way it sounds, though. Um, okay. Place your bets, this 50 is a step right in, and I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I'm gonna bet, if I were to guess, I would guess at the end of each floor there's like a chance of having to redo it. Is that a, a reasonable guess? That seems like a reasonable guess. I don't think it's right, but it seems reasonable. I'm not gonna look it up, because you know, that's the fun of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Even though, like, pretty much every time I get a new item, I look it up. This time, gonna be different. I would like that spirit heart. Um, so you know what? Fuck it. Who's stopping me? No one. I'm buying it. And then the rest is going in the machine. 620? 620? Dude, that is actually like getting pretty high. 620? We're like slowly actually getting that pretty high actually, to be honest. Alright, let's take that guy out. Right, I've said to be honest once, I now can't say it for the rest of the episode. That's the rules. And if I do, then um, feel free to go, hey, you said it more than once and I'll go. Sorry. I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Are we still on we're still on the first floor, okay. Going to the shop on the first floor is like pretty unorthodox for me, but you know, we're pretty pretty close to getting that donation machine full. We gotta gotta clutch, you know, clutch at thin straws on ice. Thin straws on ice, that is like a really shitty musical starring like um Oh shit, what's she called? <laughs> okay, let's just like move on and pretend that I didn't try to be funny there. I was gonna say um, Hannah Toynton. See, so I was gonna say Hannah Toynton and like um, now I'm having a mind blank. The the guy who played Scott in uh, Austin Powers, and the idea is they're both like farmers, and all they're trying to do in life is they okay they're from the big city, but they go one day they just sort of go you know what I'm tired of the city life. I want to. I, wa I just want to get away from it. I'm tired of people. Um, one of them's a social worker. One of them's a lawyer. Hannah Toynton's a social worker. Um, Scott's a lawyer. He's not actually that good of a lawyer. I'd say Hannah's a pretty decent. Um, she's a pretty decent social worker. Like she's maybe a bit better than average at it, at her job. But um, Scott's like he's not a great lawyer. He gets jobs, but he just he very rarely wins, and he's like slowly falling off the the lawyer scale the loyal ladders, um, he's slowly starting to, like, it'll sort of go, right, um, 
Oh, I need a good lawyer. Um, pff, you know, I wouldn't recommend Scott, to be honest. And they'll go, oh, um, if you can't afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you. Oh, who will be appointed to me? Oh, Scott. Is he any good? Not really. I'd recommend just, like, paying. Just, like, go in debt if you need to. He's not very good. You'll probably not win. But, um, yeah, so anyway, so they sort of go, you know, Scott's losing losing his shit with his, he's doing bad at his job. Uh, Hannah's, Hannah's alright, but she's just, she's not getting paid that much, she's starting to get a bit bored. So they sort of go, you know what, let's, I want to try something new. Uh, we want to try something new. And then they decide, we're going to go out into the countryside, and we're going to set up a farm. And it's like a, a sort of, a light-hearted, um, family comedy, I guess, but it's like a romantic comedy. Because what's also happening at the same time is their sort of their marriage is starting to not necessarily fall apart, but it doesn't quite have the same spark as it used to. So the marriage is like it's it's you know the fire needs rekindling. So th sort of through their you know shenanigans at the farm, or maybe one day, or the horse like kicks one of them, and like it's like oh no are you okay? But then actually like it was only like a light kick and it's fine, and everyone was like oh pff, he's fine, you know. And then at some point they've been like milking a cow, but then like nothing comes out, and then all of a sudden they'll be like, Scott will be like, oh, just it says on the internet, just like pull harder, and then she pulls hard, and then it like gushes out rapidly, and they like drown for a bit. But then again, you know they're fine, just like farm shenanigans. I figured out this room by the way. You're supposed to stop in the middle and like not bum rush across. I was just stressing out that the spikes would come back up and hit me, but that's like absolutely not the way the room works. You just gotta like not go slow. You gotta go fast, but not too fast. Uh, and they, you know, in the end, they end up um, falling in love and rekindling their. Um, what they end up doing actually is renewing their vows, um, and it's really nice. And what who ends up coming is like the there's like a callback to like one of Scott's clients is in it, like at the start of the film, like Devil's Advocate style, and he ends up like losing the case, and then he ends up like you know getting mad about it. He's like, "Oh, you fucker, you lost me the case," and he, he sort of goes, "Ah." Oh, but then he's, he's like there at the wedding and he's like, you know, you're, I hate, you know, fuck you, because I'm like in prison now, but also like, I hope you're happy in in your life as a married, as a renewed married couple. Because he's there and he's a bit like, he's in, he'll be in like his, his orange suit and it'll be funny, you know, a bit of a comedic moment there. Uh, that's my, that's my premise, that's my, my idea. Um, the film is called... Okay, there's no name yet. It's Project Big City Farm. Big City Farm, that's what it's called. Big City Love Farm. Big City Love Farm, dude. Is it not the greatest? Uh, I'll give you a clue. The answer is yes. It is the greatest. Yay, thanks for giving me this idea. Um, patent pending, so I wouldn't recommend stealing that because you'll probably get sued like in a couple months when the patent gets sorted out. So, um, you know. I, um, I've emailed the patent office. I emailed it. That's why I died on that last run. Is because I was busy emailing the patent office. No oh, fucker. So um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get on that one. It's almost as good as um, Groundhog Advocate Devil's Groundhog Devil Day. Devil's Advocate Day. Devil's Groundhog Devil Day. It's just like Groundhog Advocate. We'll just go with that one. Where it's like the Devil's Advocate Groundhog Day crossover, which I spoke about last episode briefly. I've thought about it a little bit. I've developed my idea. Um, I've forgotten most of it, but it's like um, Keanu Reeves. It's still Keanu Reeves, I think, because um, it, it, it's like merging the two universes together, which is like not that much effort considering they're both like normal human life in New York City. I'm pretty sure. I think Groundhog Day set in New York. But um, I've not actually seen Groundhog Day for the record. But yeah, so the idea, oh, you know, you've got um, the lawyer. He sort of he loses the case and ends up getting like, you know, somewhere along the line, the devil manipulates him, and then like one thing leads to another, and at some point the world ends. But you know, he sort of like Groundhog Day starts to happen, and he like ends up going back. So like he's got another chance to not end the world. But then as he's like trying to stop the world from ending, he, he gets distracted because he doesn't he's a bit of a lonely man. No, you know what? It would actually be um oh, fuck, I don't know who plays the main character in Groundhog Day. What's he called? Is it it's Bill Murray, isn't it? Is it Bill Murray? Bill Murray plays him? Like I said, I've not seen it. Let's have a look. Um I think it's Bill Murray. Uh 
Um, it is fucking Bill Murray. I knew it was. Okay, yeah. So Bill Murray, he's playing the character, but he's the character of a lawyer. I don't know what Bill Murray does in the actual film, uh, but in this one, he's a lawyer. And like I said, one thing leads to another, the world ends, he has a chance to redo it, so he does it. But then on the second time, he gets distracted by this uh, lovely looking woman on the, on the um, in I guess just like, watching in the audience, as they say, in in, in law. Um, you know, look, I've not studied law, in case you haven't, in case, you, in case you're not aware. But, um, yeah, and it's like, he gets distracted and he's like, it's like another sort of light-hearted sort of comedy type thing where... He's um he's he's trying to save the world, but he's also like trying to get the girl at the same time. And in the end, actually, like he he gets faced with a decision, and it gets like it gets pretty dark at the end actually, because he he's faced with a decision of like get the girl or save the world. And um, then it gets like really psychological, and it turns into this like it goes back to like he starts having flashbacks of him as a child, and he's got like really light PTSD from like when he used to get bullied or something as a as a kid. And it's going back to like he had no friends or anything, and all he wants is like a little bit of recognition in life. So he actually ends up like sacrificing the world just so that he can have um, like a, a a couple days with some female company in his life. And it's actually pretty sad, and it's a bit of a reflection of the state of the world at the minute. That realistically, as human beings, all we want is someone to share our um, puny, useless um, existence with. Um, and uh, we'll we'll come to anyone. We'll come to we'll come to any anything. We'll do anything. We'll not let anything get in our way, just so that we can spend our days um, not alone. Because at the end of the day, everyone everyone's scared of the same thing. Everyone's scared of dying alone, and um, that is the the moral of the, the movie. So you go in not knowing what to expect. Halfway through, you're like, hey, this is a good comedy film. Um, but by the end of it, you're like, shit, dude. I need to like sign up to Match.com or something because I am lonely as fuck. Body pillow is not good enough anymore. That's the moral of the movie, body pillows aren't enough, and then that's like, the whole point is like, the whole point of the movie is to try and like, slowly weed out weeboos from the world, without people realising it. It's all part of the regime, man. Um, but anyway, um, this is a daily challenge. I, the Judas run died, seven minutes in, usually if I die in like, less than, I don't know, like, pre-depth two. Or like pre 25 minutes ish, I'd just like stop the recording and try again. But that was already my like my fifth attempt at Judas Run, and I was like, oh fuck it, I'll just do Judas another day. I'll work on Judas off camera. I'm not good enough for it. <laughs> but um, yeah. So what does that do? That's just like shop refresh, isn't it? I don't remember how what that does or how it works, but I'm I'm worried that that actually like somehow involves re-rolling the run, and the run's really good. Holy mantle, tech point five, all that jazz. I really like it. I mean, our damage isn't insanely high. I haven't had any damage ups, but I like our items. We're still doing damage pretty quickly. Or well, when the lasers are shooting, anyway. But yeah, but I was sort of like, okay, I've already started this rabbit hole. I'm just gonna like keep digging. If you've got, your, if you've dug yourself in a hole, there's like no point in trying to get out. You're just gonna slip down. You just dig straight through to the other side, and maybe one day you'll end up in China and build a life for yourself as a Chinese business. Well, as an English businessman living in China, which is a different, you know, heartwarming family sitcom altogether. But we'll come to that on a different day. For the time being, um, Angry Dolphin Productions needs to focus on its um, production of Devil's Groundhog and Big City Farm, Big City Love Farm. Big City Love Farm, also the name of my debut porn film. As a director, I should say. Not as a, not as an actor within the film, but as a, as a director and writer and also editor, just because I'm the whole package. Any media companies watching this, I can do everything, you know? Whatever you want to put me on the camera, you know? Put me on the boom mic. My arms will get tired quickly, but I'll do a good job whilst I'm doing it. Which is, like, also what I say about sex. I don't know where this video is going. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. I would like a growth hormones here. Or a synth oil. Or a brimstone. <laughs> or a sacred heart or something. Fucking hell, where did all this health come from? 
Oh, you have Holy Mantle, so I guess it's just building up. Oh, actually, yeah, I'll allow that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, my bad. Sometimes that happens on this, like, make-do stand I'm using. Sometimes I just, like, drop my mic. Okay, I didn't actually drop my mic, it just, like, fell backwards. Having said that, I have literally dropped my mic more than once. I've, I've dropped it properly twice, as in, like, it's fallen off the tower of CDs it's bouncing on. Um, I think both times it sort of absorbed, absorbed the shock because it landed on its side, and the shock was, like, absorbed by, like, the main mic itself didn't actually hit the floor. It was, like, the, the stand and the pop filter sort of hit it instead. But still, I've had it, like, a week, and I've dropped it twice. And I think I dropped my old mic twice ever. Um, I'm working on getting. I'm getting. A, I'm get, at some point, I'm gonna get a mic on. Okay, the pony like sort of. I guess he went up. I really like this run actually. This is fun. It's a shame it's a daily because like everyone's getting this. Because I can get a good run on a daily, but all I can think when I have a good run on a daily is like, oh, everyone has a good run on the daily. Also, this little demon friend, I actually thought it was um, the damage booster one where it bounces around the room and has like the AoE damage, but also if you like stand in it and shoot, you get damage as well, like a 1.5 times multiplier or something. Um, but it isn't, it's Lilith Baby, but actually Lilith Baby is way better than I thought, because I actually didn't realise that it's like, it does the same damage that you do, but with like a, I think it has like half my tier rate, but it's doing like the same amount of damage. How do you aim the pony? Do you do it with the movement keys or the arrow keys? I guess I was the movement keys, but actually, now that I've missed it like twice, I think it's the arrow keys. Crackjack, what we get? Oh, dude, this is such a good run. Holy shit, dude. Um, let's see what we get here. I maybe prefer Lump of Coal, because I'm not sure if I get Kramp of Krampo's head, I'm not sure if I want to take it or leave it. And I don't want to be faced with that decision. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. I do really like it for bosses, but I'm I've gotten used to having flight, and I like having flight now. So I'm gonna just like have flight. Okay, but for now, let's just like keep going with this run. This is I really like this run. I'm like probably not gonna beat Mega Satan, but I'm glad that this run exists. Sad bombs. Take a little bit of sad bombs. I got pretty big tears to go along with those. And plus, I sort of wanted to get like a video done because I'm not going to be uh, here next week. Oh, that bad trip really affected me. Shit, dude, I'm so upset that I got that. Um, but yeah, so it's like I'm not going to be able to play for like two weeks. No, I'll be able to play Isaac actually, but you know other stuff. I'm not going to be able to record for a couple weeks, which is really awkward considering in three months I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to play for a month. So I need to like stockpile stuff. But oh well. Yeah, you aim with the arrow keys. Okay. I was going to use it on the boss, but I wanted to test it. Okay, I have a week off soon, which I'm going to um, spend pretty much stockpiling videos ready. He doesn't do a ton of damage, he's going to have taken out a bunch of enemies in one go. Okay. Yeah, we, we, this is a really good run. We only have like one damage up by way of the all star stuff from Randy Mush, but we're still like really powerful. Is that true? Oh, and we have Curved Horn, which is a 2 plus damage, which is actually pretty significant. I really like this run. Ah, Savenya. <laughs> I really like this run. I do really like this run. Oh, we should go to the Curse Room. We have um, Holy Mantle. It's free. And he spun. And he spun. And he spun. Uh, we'll use the moon, like, immediately. Oh, fuck it. You always gotta show up once. I should have run the other day where I went to the shop twice over the run and got greed and then super greed. Which is pretty unfortunate. See, uh, I really don't like not being able to pick up spirit hearts. It just feels wrong, but at the same time, if you're at the point where you can't pick up spirit hearts, you're probably pretty good. Unless you have, like, 12 heart containers and, like, only one of them is full. In which case, how the fuck did you end up there, man? 
you had it all, and then you just let it go and took a load of damage. Who, what, what do you think? What, who do you think you are, me? Oh, I wish this was a regular run so we could donate shit here. That would be dope. I will go in here see what they have. Oh, tear detonate is fun, but it would replace my flight. I don't want to do that. Okay, let's keep going. It's pretty dark here. Ooh, is that the good one or the bad one? Face reward, your fate beside you. It's the not as good one. Actually, doesn't this shoot like... Yeah, it's shooting shots as powerful as we do. Let's just examine it. Isn't this the one that shoots like pretty high powerful shots but really slowly? So I don't think it's doing the same damage as us. I think it just happens to be that its damage is like similar to ours. Okay, it's a shame that isn't Fate's Eternal reward because that would have been useful because then I could have gone back and got the spacebar item. Oh, there's like nothing. Uh, what mom is it? It's regular mom. I thought it was red mom for some reason. The Tintos. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we should get a devil deal here. We didn't get one last one. We're taking no red heart damage. We will do boss rush. Polaroid, here we go. Guppy's paw. I mean, like, I'll do that and I'll just for the sake of a guppy item. Ooh! Forget me now, I was interested, but I'm not touching that. And then Aquarius wasn't great. And neither, and tarot cards is just, like, actually not very useful at all. Uh, my tage, my laser tage did a circle. Right, take it out before it spawns so many fucking poops. Right, take out the carrying queen, focus on the carrying queen. Focus on the carrying queen, I can't hit it. There we go, about time. Okay, now the carrier queen's out of the way. Things should be a piece of freaking cake, as Quaffin would say. Oh, I went right to the other side of the room, that was interesting. Anyone see the the post on uh, the miningrisic.com where it's like, hey, testing out the the modding stuff, and it was like a spacebar item, and when you hit spacebar, it sends out the rocks, the cage rocks. That's pretty dope. That's a pretty dope spacebar item. So that was a good bomb, because it hit them both, the bomb blast, and then like they both got hit by a tear. Hey, that's pretty good. I need to stop, because I'm not very good at it, but, you know, it's fun, so whatever. Okay, let's avoid the red poops. Just don't get red hearts built up on the ground, but, I mean, if I get to the point where I need them, I'm probably going to be pretty worried and annoyed with myself for fucking up another good run just by being bad. Okay, that was, like, very avoidable, but I'm going to say that was unavoidable. Whoa, you still have a lot of health. You want something you're not telling me? You want to admit to me that you're actually a sponge? A sponge in society, I should say. Ooh, I took a dime, though, from little ball of sacks. Excuse me? Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think I thought what's the item's called. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't, I've not played this game before. Okay, keep shooting. Yeah, because we are getting a lot of tears off, because not only is our fire rate up, like pretty high, and our damage is obviously really good, but then we've also got Succubus shooting really, like quite a few tears, and then like Fate just chucks one into the mix every now and then as well. But Stain can be a little bit of a bitch sometimes. Especially when you don't know he's there on a big room like this, and then all of a sudden you just get a fucking laser to the face, you're just like, shit. I want to kill him. I want to kill one of the bosses with Pony. I was trying to like, get one of them to low health. And finish him with Pony. I could probably kill Blasters here, so that doesn't really count. I mean, it like totally does, but it, it doesn't really count. Okay. Oh, two Zerry Hearts. I don't know where they came from, but I'll take him. Dude, the gurglings are so easy, dude. Smoked him, like, straight away. Two bombs. Sack, sack bag is, like, dropping stuff I'm not even noticing. Oh, fuck it, I missed him. <laughs> I, already, I already killed him before I could go. I was, I was like, trying to get him down low, but then, like, I fire once, and then he gets hit by, like, three pretty powerful bullets. So it didn't really work out. Okay, this next one's it though. Or the one after this next one. 
Actually, is this the last wave? Peep, you're a bitch, and I'm gonna take you out like before you get a chance to do the same to me. The tears we get from sad bombs are like slightly more powerful than our regular tears, right? It's like one or two more damage or something like that. Actually, that space where I am, if it like shot out rocks, that'd be really good actually. Like even even in like an adversary style one, where it shot out like a circle of rocks. I worry that that'd be a bit too powerful, but the adversary one, because it'd probably just like kill everything. It'd either be too powerful or they'd have to compensate so that they didn't make it too powerful, but then I think in that case it'd just be like too weak. I think it'd be hard to actually get it to a balance, but I think the, the cage one would be pretty good. Okay, Fallen. Just be careful around him. Fallen and Loki, okay, so we get one. Actually, he went down pretty quickly. And these guys should as well. Oh, fuck. Cephalus should go down pretty quickly. Who's the other dude down there? Oh, is it a Maw? A Mega Maw? Oh, sorry, no, it's a, a gate. It's spawning a lot. It's, I don't know how I feel about it. I swear that tier has gone down. Am I the only one that's noticed that? No? Yeah, okay. Ooh, blow. Okay, let's be careful of this fucker. Let's just, like, miss him completely with the horse as well. I mean, the horse is barely any damage. I've just kept it for the flight, really. Okay, I won't be surprised if I took a few hits to this guy. Okay. And Kane's other eye is, like, actually not very useful at all, but I'll take it. Actually, I shouldn't have taken it, because I would have lost points for it. Only, like, a, probably, like, 15 or something, but still. I probably should have left it. Either way, we're going to the Scarred Womb. Still under 20 minutes, which is nice. Oh, fuck it. We've already had a, a guppy item. We'll see what we get. Oh, fuck. I don't remember which one's which. Okay, that's the right one. You know what I sort of want to do? Take it. Kill myself. Respawn as Lazarus. And then... Shouldn't have taken that. Shouldn't have, like, definitely straight up should not have taken that. Kill myself again as Judas. Right, well, let's take this room out first so we're not, like, trapped in an awkward spot. This may be very risky, but at the same time, our damage is going to be really high after this. And I'm okay with that. We do have the wafer now as well, which is nice. So in that case, I maybe want to find an optimal place to do it instead of just like straight up killing myself. Um, like a, if we see like a self-sacrifice room or something, we can maybe get like a chest or something like that. Oh, we'll see what's in here. Right, that's definitely not happening. Should I do it? I'm tempted to do it. I'm not gonna do it though, this one's really good. Maybe I should do it and then kill myself, so at least if it's bad I'll have like a damage buffer. And we will still have curved horns, so... No, I'm not gonna do it. It's not worth it. I'm also not yet wanting to kill myself because... I sort of want to like keep the health while we've got it. Right, let's go this way. How is he not dead? Okay, well, Holy Mantle saved us. Yeah, and Holy Mantle's doing really good. Ooh, another pretty fly. I, don't even, I didn't even notice I got the first pretty fly. Okay, grab these for points. I didn't check if any of my friends have played it yet. Maybe not, though. Oh, owned by my friends. Actually, yesterday, yesterday's run was a run to... Um, I think it was a Samson run. And it was a run to Mom's Heart, and then I died on Mom's Heart. And I, got like, I think I got like 18k, and then one of our friends got 25k, and then one of our friends got 35k. I was like, yo, dude, calm down. Oh, he must have done Hush, actually, fair enough. I, I absolutely didn't even think of it like that. What's this? Bad trip, no thanks. Curve torn, though. I'll take that back. Yeah, dude, you know, I just had a look at my tears and it's like noticeable. Okay, we'll get the White Pony as well now, I guess. Like, the White Pony does the same thing except it shoots off lights, doesn't it? I think. Yeah, so isn't the white pony just like slightly there? Dude, our tear, tear just did a circle again. That's like weird as fuck. I'm sure it's just like a thing. It's just like, oh yeah, that just like happens sometimes. Yeah, flight plus holy death. Okay. <laughs> okay, I forgot I'd already been in there. I just went in and was like, um, excuse me? Uh, anyone want to take a moment to explain why there's fucking nothing in this room? 
Yeah, okay. Alright, that's not bad. Yeah, the holy shots do a lot of damage, actually. Okay, I'm definitely not going to kill myself now, then. Having said... Well, okay, yeah. So I'm not going to go on my way to kill myself unless I get to half heart, in which case I might allow it to happen. Um, having said that... Also, that was a safety net, because now if I do die, I can go... Oh, yeah, I was allowing it to happen. Um, but yeah, having said that, what I will do is... Well, it's, it's like a bit of a, a safety net, isn't it? Because if I do die, then... Well, first of all, I'll come back to life, which is good anyway, but I'll also come back to life with more damage as well. He's trapped on the Cthulhu. I don't know you could shoot that laser. I thought it was one that I had to wait till the end of the room. Actually, fair enough, because if, if I didn't have flight, that would have been like a really difficult room then. Mm, it would have been possible, actually, but you know. She could have just like gone underneath it to dodge it. So it would have been possible, but it would have been tough. Oh, my shadow, okay. I, I was so confused by, by that leech thing then. It's also weird having my shadow and Judas' shadow together. And seeing them in the devil deal was weird, but now seeing them like to the side. So I know my shadow is the upside down one, and Judas' shadow is the right way up one. Which is good to know. Because obviously, like, taking my shadow wasn't because I wanted my shadow. It was a strategic play. So in the future, it's good to know. Also, holy shit, dude, that holy shot just did so much damage. And then, like, the fucking knight just, like, walks right into me. Just like, yeah, whatever, I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna, like, walk into you and, like, do some damage, because fuck you. Uh, okay, so honestly, fuck Hush. This could be a really high, powerful run, and I think Yosup is gonna get a really high score on it, but I'm, like, not gonna do Hush. It's also a really fast run, 22 minutes. So she compares to the last episode. Dude, the circle again. It just like happens sometimes. I wonder if there's a reason for like why it happens. If like there's something that causes it. Okay, I'd love like a little world card right now or something. Okay, if that had red chest in it, I probably would have done it, but it doesn't, so we'll move on. What's not a build health? Two hearts and a heart and a half spirit hearts. So we can take four hits comfortably. Thanks to the um the wafer. Courtesy of the wafer, my good friend the wafer. Okay, I don't know what that was, but it's fine. I'll allow it. I'll let it slip. Or just because of that, like slightly weird moment right there, I'm just like going to delete the video. And never, no one will ever look at it again. Oh, another an angelic heart, forever heart. Wait, what do they call it? Eternal hearts. There we go. I like forever hearts. Let's keep using that one for like the rest of my life. Yeah, so yeah, this Eternal Heart is going to be pretty good. Oh, I already, like, have stopped using Forever Heart. So Eternal Heart is going to be pretty good. Oh, and we have the Mantle as well, of course. So, like, actually, we're probably, we have, like, quite a lot of survivability. Which is good. Oh, shit. That was, like, slightly scary for a second. Golden Key, like, pretty much purely for the, the points. Because it is the daily, after all. Yeah, points are just, like... In the daily, like, obviously, like, the main focus, but then in normal runs, like, not even that much of a focus at all. Because, like, I'm glad they exist, but at the same time, it's, like, beyond the daily, they're, like, nah, whatever. I mean, there are probably people out there who do, like, score runs and stuff. Which, actually, I want to see. I want to see some score runs. If anyone in the comments knows any, um, like, YouTubers or Twitch streamers that do, like, score runs in Isaac. Holy shit, dude. White Death. That's the second time. That's the second boss that White Death has like made significantly easier. It did like most of the the heart's health before it went up, and it just did like loads. Well, it just like pretty much killed Satan. Statue Satan. Okay, well there's Satan dead. Let's go and do uh, Mega Satan. Apparently, I, I w wouldn't be surprised if we died to Mega Satan. Okay, two copy items though. That'd be nice. Not a copy item. Also not a copy item, but it's two of the same pills. So it could be interesting. Okay, interesting is a word I'd use to describe it. Oh, health down. That's like really shitty. So it's a bad trip, but I'll hold on to it because if we take damage, I can use it to a f for a full health. Oh, now I've got to go all the way back. Right, let's be careful then and like try and make the most of this and get some points out of it. Because yeah, it's just like going down the path and getting the points, except without having to backtrack because we only have to do the journey once. Okay. 
yeah, this is like this is a good thing that's happening, right? Thirty thousand five hundred. Let's try and not lose many points. I don't like this room. There's something really satisfying about killing a bunch of teratomas, but then at the same time, like the spiders scare me a little bit because they can just like pop out and just like do damage. Um, it's usually the way the game works. Okay, a couple famines I can deal with. A couple, a couple of jokers. I'm never gonna do that accident again, ever. That's me promising. Unless I get better at it, that'll be like the the win condition. Oh, there's three famines. I was gonna say. I got that second famine so it took a few hits there. He still had half health, even though he'd taken a bunch of damage. Ah, uh, here we go. I could have done with like looking at the map to see where it actually was. Maybe could have avoided that room, but oh well. Probably could have avoided that room. Okay, holy light did damage there. This room's shitty because like these guys have a lot of fucking health. Also, I should be using bombs because I have loads of them. But I'm going to save them for the Mega Saiyan fight. I'm going to use like one more. There we go. Just speed things along a little bit because we are fighting three Mega Fatties here. Which is never fun. And remember, if we do fail the fight, we will get a second chance with like slightly more damage thanks to um, Dark Judas. And the thing is, we probably won't even like be like it probably won't be that much harder health-wise, because we're probably not going to go into the room with much health anyway. Oh my god, what with all these like really shitty, long-winded big rooms? There's just a lot of like relatively difficult big rooms going on, is all I'm saying. I also don't like having four small fallens going on at the same time. Okay, there's my holy mantle. Yeah, ideally you want to try and keep the holy mantle as long as possible in the, the mega stand fight. Ideally. I mean, ideally we just want to like not get hit at all. Ideally, but I mean, we'll see how that works out for us. Okay, there goes a half heart. Okay, you are like, you couldn't be any closer to being dead without like, actually dying. Okay, we're still 3,500, so we've, you know, we've not really like lost any points. This room is like shitty, but also should be pretty quick. Sim City, more like Sim Shitty. That was like when 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 that happened, when Sim City came out, that tweet was like very prevalent. It was everywhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know what I did. Oh no, I was leaning back. Okay, I'm fine. Three points as well. Take me down to the paradise city where the sims are city and the shitty is shitty. Ooh! Sure, what did I just get? Zombie baby and pentagram. Maybe AIDS or scabies, rabies or zombie babies. Okay, let's see what happens here. So I guess we're not going to get a chance of redemption. However, we did just get a damage up by way of pentagram and a damage up by way of um, Dark Judas as well. Yeah, this is a very powerful run. We have a lot of fucking damage right now. Holy shit, dude, we have a lot of damage. Let's play it cool. Took down Pestilence nice and quick. Quick, quick, rapido. Look at how big our tiers are. They're pretty big for, like, a standard uh, standard level of, of runnage going on. So, yeah, whether we win this or not, this has been a really fun daily challenge, and I'm glad that it happened out of the blue. I'm glad I was going on that weird tangent earlier on, otherwise I probably wouldn't have carried the episode on. So I'm glad I was going on that, just so that I could like do this daily. I may have done the daily, but I probably wouldn't, thinking about it. Because after this I'm going to do some Mirror's Edge practice, then have a shower, and then like sort out this week's videos. So I probably wouldn't have actually done the daily, so I'm glad I did. Because it was a, a really fun one. Uh, okay, that was shitty. I was trying to hope that that wouldn't happen. But the, f the four dudes are always shitty. Let's face it. Okay, he has both his hands back. Let's try and get rid of those quickly. Uh, wait, what am I supposed to do to dodge those? Because they go to the back of the room. Okay, we're probably not going to win this one, but that's fine. At least we don't have, like, super low damage or anything. I do like the whole thing of, um, 
Mega Satan daily challenges. Like, like the whole like spawning with the key and stuff. I do really like that's a thing. So that Mega Satan challenges are a thing. Okay, second phase. Second phase is usually easier than first phase. Because he seems to have like less health and you don't have to deal with like four pretty difficult enemies at once. Uh, we may win. If these tiers say slow and don't reach me. Right, we're actually hitting him now, aren't we? Just checking my range isn't like too short to hit him. Okay, we just won uh, a Mega Satan run. A very powerful Mega Satan run. But Mega Satan run nonetheless. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, uh, like would be awesome. Managed in your 8. And um, 425th uh, speed wise is pretty good. See if any of my friends have done it. Okay, no friends have done it yet. Um, yeah, that was yesterday's, and the last one I did was like a few days ago. <laughs> Which actually, apparently, like only one other person did, and it was pretty bad. It was Eve, to be fair. But anyway, yeah, if you did enjoy, a like would be awesome. Uh, other than that, my name's Thank you very much for watching, and um, I will see you guys next time. Peace, peace.